Yeah, right. we are going into the massacre site right now. Yeah. Jesse has drugged me out here. We are headed into the massacre site right now. We've got a tornado headed our way. Joe? What? What? I just heard a screaming and a squealing. What the hell is that? I don't know. Oh my god. We're losing it, dude. What is that? We've got eyes on the woods. traveled to the land between the lakes to investigate reports of large wolf-like creatures that supposedly inhabited this 170,000 acre wilderness. We had become interested in the dogman phenomenon due to an increasingly frequent number of first-person witness reports, as well as the debate over the 1982 massacre that had recently dominated the cryptid community. We went to the LBL to investigate firsthand the locations associated with that original massacre site. We arrived at the LBL in the summer of 2021 with the mindset that we were on a cryptozoology sightseeing trip, and we were not expecting the strange activity that we observed. We spent the next eight months researching the area, its history, speaking with local witnesses, and devising an experiment that we wanted to conduct within the confines of the LBL an experiment that no one had tried before. We returned in the early spring of 2022, armed with new technology, new tools, and what we thought was a new understanding of the land between the lakes and the creatures that inhabit its forests. We thought that we were prepared this time. We were wrong. We are back in the land between the lakes. Since we were here last June, we have gotten a lot of feedback on our videos um, about us actually going into the woods and investigating these things and investigating these stories that we keep hearing about. So we decided that we came in the summer and we are returning here in the winter. Uh, so now all the leaves are off of all the trees it is completely quiet here, deserted, desolate. It's out of season, so there's nobody on the peninsula. There, We've not seen hardly anybody out here because um, it's been cold. Uh, tornado ripped through and destroyed a lot of the peninsula. So it's uh, still in recovery from that as well. So we've decided we'd come back here and run a few experiments that we came up with and see if we can do kind of a deeper dive into the land between the lakes. So we're gonna be here for a long time. We're here for, we're here for several, several days. So uh, we're gonna make the most out of it. We've been going up and down the little roads here that come off of the trace. And we were going down one of the gravel roads that goes to one of the bays. It's one of the minor bays that are on the peninsula. And we're just driving around and we're looking around. And because it is winter, we have higher visibility so we can see straight through the woods. And we're going down one of these gravel roads here. And off to our right, I see some dark giant shape in the woods. And it looks like it could be a structure. We're not sure what it is. 
see it down there. I don't know what, is that a building or is that? Hell no, you realize that as far as the crow flies, we're not that far from Massacre Site. Oh, I know, yeah. That Massacre Site is over that hill. It's over that way. Yeah. It's straight over that hill there. So. Does that look like a vehicle on its side in a way? I can't tell what it is. Yeah, I know. It almost looks like a school bus on its side. Right. Um. What? It is. That's what it is. You can see the exhaust line. Whoa! How has nobody ever thought? Have you ever seen anything about this before? I have never seen anything about this on any of my research that I've done on the LBL. This is holy crap. This is no, I've never seen anything about this before in all of my research. Watch out, there's like pieces of metal and like rebar and everything. I gotcha. All through here. <clears throat> Uh, is that an old mattress spring? Or I don't that... know. We're going to get in there. Wow. This is awesome. I'm gonna say right now, this is a pretty rad find. Um, in the summer and the spring, when there's people actually going through the LBL on a regular basis, this would be completely hidden by leaves and shrubbery and all the brush that grows up in the spring and summer. This is as thick as a jungle back here, but because it is winter, it is you have a clear line of sight straight down this hill to this school bus wreck. But this is amazing. This bus looks like it's from the 60s, I'd say. Maybe 50s, 50s 60s, oh, yeah. yeah. 60s. But this is a really cool find. So, are we gonna talk about the mattress? Like the box spring that's in here? That's not part of a school bus bench. That's a small bed that was in here once upon a time. Was somebody living in here? See, it's got little wheels on the side. This was a small, possibly a small pullout bed that somebody has brought down in here. Yeah. All right, I don't know if my tetanus shots are update or not, but. Huh. You know. There's glass down here. I'm wondering if some of these windows were intact before that tree fell on it. If those windows had been somewhat intact, you could sleep in here. I mean, that's a bed, see the wheel? Oh yeah, that's I know. a pull out. This is pretty wild. Yeah. All right, I thought, I thought that was a tree grown out in the middle, but that's something that's busted through probably during the storm. Hey, if you were in the LBL and you wanted some shelter and you were trying to stay hidden, I mean, you can't see this from the road. No, not at all. See the broken glass here? Yeah. Some of these windows were intact before that tree hit. Throw a tarp like up inside here, but, um, huh. All right. Rear view mirror. Is the mirror still there? Parts of it, it's broken glass. Okay. Because... All right. So part of the goal of us getting down here and going into these different areas is we're going to see if any of the other campground areas or anything like that are comparable to the area that people are claiming was a campground where the family was staying. So we're gonna check out these other areas that may have been developed around the same time and see if there's similar structures in those areas compared to the massacre site area. Um, 
And that's all we can do is find comparables and see if we can kind of make some sense out of what we're finding in the massacre site area. So let's go with our theory that you came up with. This school bus went off the road, flipped and went down there. Now, if there were kids in it, that had to have been fatal for at least some of them. And if we're, the more we do this, the more we become convinced that there's something supernatural to this dogman phenomenon, or possibly even demonic. A bunch of school kids dying, that's just gonna add to the bad energy here, you know? I agree. Yeah, so. So it looks like this is just gonna add something else that we're gonna have to research. Um, we're gonna look into if this accident was a major thing, if anybody died during this accident, because this just adds another layer to it. Um, we got kids dying out here in the woods in an accident, and it looks like it happened probably in the 60s, 70s, around that era, because of the age of the school bus. I'm gonna get in touch, get in touch with my dad and uh, send him some photos and see if he can date that bus for me. And uh, we're, uh, we're gonna keep rolling, but I am just, coming out here in the winter is definitely the ticket because we can see straight through these woods and we're able to see stuff like that wrecked bus uh, that normally we wouldn't be visible at all. So we're gonna head on on our uh, little journey here and uh, keep exploring the peninsula. Tree? Look at the left side of that tree. Do you see like a dark figure? I see a dark figure. Is it just there? Is it just watching us? What is that? Get in the car and uh, bring the car to me. I just saw what looks like a dark figure in the woods. Um, Joe is heading towards it. I've got the car. We're gonna, I'm gonna follow up in the car behind him. And uh, this thing's gonna go off because I don't have my seatbelt on. Um, but it looks like a dark figure down here in the woods in the direction we're headed. So I'm coming down the road and uh, I'm coming to get him. So we're gonna see what this is. This might just be a tree, but I swear it looks like a black shape. Leaning around a tree looking at us. Keep your eyes on it. It might just be a tree, but... Yeah, yeah I think it's, a it's just, a, it's just, yeah, it's a trick of the eyes. That was weird though, right? It looked like... It looked like... It definitely looked like something was... Yeah, debunked. Uh, debunked. Yeah. I'm not trying to see shadow figures or dogmen behind every corner. Um, but I am going to keep an eye out. All right, uh, let's look in these woods as we're driving. Yeah, yeah. Got... I need to pull over right over here. Look at this. It's more Concrete. of those, yep. it's more of those ah, things inside I the bunkers it. that nobody ever talks about. Everybody I always, knew it. Yeah, this is not, it's not a campground remnants this is probably something like you said from the tva tva I, it might be like a tva uh, uh you ain't parking there huh just park right here parking yeah. right here um yeah so i've got this working theory right now that um so the the property was taken over in 1966 by the tennessee valley authority and i've got this working theory right now that they had work camps like and that they brought people in to do the work to build out all the stuff for the lbl uh for the recreation area so i think that some of these bunkers and all this stuff is actually remnants from tva work camps um because they would bring people in to do the work because i guarantee they were not having locals come here after they kicked everybody off the land they're not going to have locals come in and do that work so I'm sure they brought people in and it was a program similar to the Civilian Conservation Corps. Sorry, my mind's going a thousand miles an hour. Let's go check this up. Let's go check these up, other bunker things up. Yeah, so that's the purpose of what we're doing is we're gonna go through all of these areas that are in this immediate area of what we would consider the um, massacre site. And we're gonna check out all of these woods and we're gonna see if we can find any other bunkers. And it looks like Joe spotted some in the woods over here. These are the exact same thing. These are way better intact though. I said we come around from this way. 
All right, here's more steps coming up. Yep. All right, now look at these steps. There's a house here. Yeah. Steps over here. These weren't bunkers. These were, this at least was the foundation of a home. And this is a walkway that goes up straight over here to these steps. This is crazy. Do you want to see something cool? Actually, this used to be wrapped around it. And then that part grew over it. Hey. Yeah. Somebody's clothesline. This is my clothesline. These were private residences all back through here. Yeah. I would guarantee you that what we're seeing at the bunker right now would make sense if the buildings around them were still there. That wasn't an RV campground. That was that was private residences when the uh, yeah this was taken over in the 60s. Yeah, that was a that was a community. Or all right, not now even here's a the community. deal. That does not necessarily mean that a massacre didn't happen. There. It just means that that part of the story I don't think is true. Yeah. These are porches. The remnants of what you're finding in the side are just remnants of homes. This is a porch. This is absolutely a porch. We're finding clotheslines. Look, here's some more cinder blocks. You're finding cinder blocks that indicate that these are foundations of homes. Found a clothesline that was grown into the tree. Sorry, I heard something. It's weird. This is great. This is uh, this is getting us somewhere. I think it's at least giving us a more complete picture. This is giving us a more complete picture of the LBL prior to the TVA taking it over. These weren't camps, these were homes. These are people's homes. Cool. So we've been doing a little bit of research to try to find, we've been looking at old maps, talking to like longtime residents of the area. And no one can remember a campground ever being in this area. Um, that's not to say that it's not true, but nobody remembers it and we can't find it on any maps. Now, dispersed camping is allowed all through here. And to be honest, there's just not enough people here to enforce any sort of rules whatsoever out of maybe two or three really heavily populated popular areas. So that's not to say that they didn't pull an RV back in here or even set up a camp back here, but I don't think an RV park or an RV campground was ever back here. What do you think? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think that these are all just remnants of like old private homes and some yep. of that might be built from the TVA. Um, yeah. Well, and then we also don't know. There were people living in what is what came to the LBL. There might have been businesses here too. This might have been a small commercial building or something. Yep, that's true. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Know. There's whole uh, areas in the LBL that were thriving communities. You've got the community of Little Chicago that was an African American community, and they had thriving businesses. They were a thriving community with a lot of residents, and they got kicked off the LBL just like everybody else did. And all you can find now is the ruins of these communities and these settlements. So yeah, absolutely. This is completely plausible yeah. that that's what this is. Yeah. And now again, that doesn't just prove that a massacre happened. And that doesn't just prove that people haven't been killed here. But you and I have both been in agreement that the original account just seems a little bit too I don't want to say fantastic, but a little bit too flowery. Yeah. Um, it just, it, it reeks of just exaggeration. It's... So there may have been something here and the story's just grown over a while. Um, but I think we we're in the process of disproving that there was never like a, a an actual structured camping yep. area over here. Oh, we're going to keep digging though. Yeah. That's the best thing about what we do is you can only find so much information online. You can only do so much Googling or even like, you know, reading or anything about any of these talk things until you or talk about it on Facebook until you're on the ground and you're looking at this. I'm telling you, it's it, this is this is starting to really change the narrative. Let me see. Well, I mean, something big has been laying over here where it's 
covered from the rain. There's yeah. an opening over here. Somebody's been, something's been laying over here. No. Stretching from there to there. All right, we're gonna head back up uh, and check I've out. I've gone that way. There doesn't seem to be anything else that way. Let's go across the road to this closed down road and check okay. out and see what's over here. All right, I'm gonna kill this right now and we're gonna, we're gonna move on. Hey! Yeah. There's a building over here. Hold on. All right, hold on. So, you see it? Yeah, what is that? It's a building of some sort. All right, we're gonna go check out this building. Holy moly. This is all moly. cleared off. Check this out. That looks like tile. That is tile. Yeah. There was a building here. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is just the floor. Yeah, that's tile. Yep. Some old school tiles right there, buddy. So this is the interior floor of a building. There was a building here. Okay, we got another building foundation here. This is a big building. More tile. Yeah. More tile. This is the interior of a building. Over here. Hold on. Step over here. More tile. This is just um, bashed up tile. There's an inside out pair of boys pants here. Okay. There's a shoe. Oh shit. What's wrong? What did what did David Polites say about finding boots and stuff like that in the woods? Yeah, uh, there's boots here too. Yeah. Inside out pants and boots. Uh, you getting this? Yeah, I'm getting it. Um, these are boot cut pants. Those are... It's not a cheap boot. No, it's not a cheap boot at all. There's more uh, stuff down. Why are the pants inside out? I don't know. I'm gonna get the size and everything on them. Original boot, they are boot cut. Jeez. Yeah. Now this boot has mud on the toe. Uh-huh. Um, if it's been in the elements for a long time, it's not gonna still have mud on the toe because it's been out in the rain. What's going on? Is your camera died? Are those Ariots? Like... Look at this though. They're, it's that hasn't been here for very long yeah. because look at the leaves underneath it. Yeah. The leaves underneath There's nothing it. Nothing on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. We're All gonna right. leave that here in case we yeah. need to call it in. Well, we're gonna check out this building here. Whoa. It's a commercial building. It's a, I think it's a, it's a shop or a store. You want to follow this old road? Look at this. It's an old road bed. You can tell it got washed out with all the rain. Yeah. I think a lot of stuff got stirred up and upended by that tornado coming through here. Hey, 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 Armadillo. Sure. You see him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get him. He is hauling ass. There he goes. Yep, oh, he is running. Isn't he? Oh, he's going. I see Dude, I've never seen an armadillo run that fast. Bye, buddy. I love armadillo. That dude was hauling, bro. Hauling.
the most wildlife we've ever seen here. Yeah, I know. Not a lot of wildlife here. Um, I think since we've been here, we've seen two squirrels and an armadillo. So, for such a wild place, not a lot of wild life. Um, all right, let's head back and then uh, we'll regroup, figure out what we're doing. I wish I didn't cut my camera. I just saw a bald eagle. That was awesome. That was so cool. A big ass bald eagle. Great day so far. Awesome day. Somewhat towards, or at least parallel to the supposed massacre site. So, right here, these power lines. These are the power lines from that we passed by at the massacre site, correct? Yes, that's the one that we booked up and down on with the FLIR. Yeah. And so we are just above, right now, we are just above the massacre site and the area we've been investigating prior to this. Obviously nobody's been using this. Yeah. <clears throat> bird bones. Bones and a bird feather. Oh. Uh, there's more down through here. That one. All right. Yep. Oh, uh, there's more over here. There's one right here. More right here. There's more right here. There's more right here. There's more right. Uh, look at this. Something's been feeding back here. What the hell? Stretched for this is like a kill zone. 20 or 30 feet here. It is up. We've got concrete structures. Yeah, we've got this too. Look. A pit? A pit. That's no way but a tree. Check this out first. Okay, this is all rock. Yeah, but what's... Hey, some more bones! These are bigger! Hey! Are these deer? God, I hope they're deer. Bones everywhere back through here. No way of telling. Something is killing a bunch of stuff There's by something here. Something else here. We've got more over here. This area is absolutely littered with. There's more. Oh my god. What is that? I don't know, but there's big and little. Here, this bones. place is just littered with bones. This is just bone piles everywhere back here. I mean, there's just scattered everywhere for this structure once was hey yeah. i know we make this statement all the time uh -huh. but this is also the land between the lakes we keep doing this we are definitely gonna find a body out here because people dump people dump bodies out here that's a thing more bones you have bones scattered everywhere <laughs> What is that? What, what, what kind well, of... There's a lot of small animals, but there's some remnants of like big animals back there too. Alright, we can head on back. What is this? Oh, it's down, okay. Let me walk through this uh, rise over here. There's something down here. What do you Something's down here. What Straight ahead, mean? right ahead. I don't know, I can just kind of make out a shape. I can't make out what it is.
Joe, somebody's gonna shoot you. Why are you not calling out? Doors ripped open. Doors ripped open. The zipper and the fabric are torn around it. Something grabbed it and just ripped it open. So there's not rip, but something ripped it as opposed to unzipping it. I don't know what to say right now. Um, something ripped into this tent. Something ripped into this tent. This person is gone. The, it was ripped open. There's no sign of blood or anything. Um, but it has rained recently. Um, but yes, it, is, it does appear that someone was taken out of this tent. It looks like somebody was taken out of that tent. The door's ripped open, the back's ripped. All of their, their cooler and all the food and everything is gone, but it's all strewn about. I mean, this is not that old. This is, the legs are on top of leaves. This would have blown away with a tornado that came, even not a direct hit. The winds were so high through here. This would have just been gone. I mean, it's not anchored down. <clears throat> it's like something grabbed the top of that door, ripped it down, and then whatever. Uh, what is this? What is this? Give me my camera. There's deep scores all along this tree. Yeah. Uh, Look at this. Like a claw went in here. Look. And there. It's not a knife blade. Because it's sideways right here. But this is up and yeah, down. Yeah, this one's sideways. Here. You want to see how deep this is? Let me see up here. This, this one, one is a huge gouge. This one's really deep. Right here where the tent's at. Holy... Look at the fibers on this. This is no. not that old. This is within the past yeah. two Six. months. Yeah. Jesus. You look underneath the floor? No. Hey, we might not be investigating a massacre from 1982, man. We might be ma investigating a massacre from 2022. From 2022. Yeah. All right. Um, Scent station one, scent station two. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm telling you right now, um, we're looking, like you said, at a possible massacre from 40 years ago over there. This we, is, we might have one from. There's no way that was before the tornado came through. Then I think we ought to head back because we got to figure out. Uh, That's an old tombstone. That's a tombstone? Uh, there's another one over here. There's another one over there. There's another one here. Are you filming? Yes, I'm filming. Look, over there. 
This is an old cemetery that's not there. Another one out here. They're old, they're weathered, man. They are weathered. This is an old cemetery. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? There was something walking and it wasn't. It was right there. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. It was right there. It was something walking there. And then when I looked and it wasn't. It was right there. It was right there on the road. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. It was there and it wasn't. That's what happened to me over here at this cemetery next to the massacre site. I saw it here and as I turned it was just gone. No details? No, just a shape? Uh, some kind of this. I saw this. Like arm swinging or? Yeah. Oh god, you smell it? Yeah. It's coming from that way. It's the wind. It's the wind caught something. All right, we need to come back here. Um, we need to head back and... So, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You seem a little rattled. I'm a little rattled. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I just saw. So, yeah, I'm a little rattled. That's the same thing that happened to me over at Mount Pleasant Cemetery. Yeah. I saw it just for a split second. And then she was gone. I don't think that was a... Person? I don't think what I saw was a person. Uh, or the spirit of a person. Mine didn't look like a person. Did it have a sense of size to it? Yeah. The arms were real long and the fingers were real long. It was like this. And you just saw it out of the corner of your eye for a second and yeah, then when you turned around it was gone. I saw it was in that motion right there. The reason we decided to come around this time of year is because in the stories of the massacre, it was around the end of winter, late February, early March, that the family came into the land between the lakes and camped and that they were attacked. Something that's also in that story is an account that the parents were wearing some kind of cologne or perfume that had some kind of musky scent to it. Uh, one theory is that the wind caught that scent and took it down and that the beast actually smelled it and it incited the beast to come up and attack the family. So we were thinking about this. We were thinking about, you know, the scent thing that, that this musk draws it in. So uh, Joe came up with a really cool idea. Um, we are going to try a scent experiment. So we're going to set up three locations with three different scents, but it's gonna be, you guys are gonna love this. All right, we're gonna have Sasquatch pheromone chips that we got. We're also gonna have, Joe's handing me this, he's my Vanna White right now. We're also gonna have these uh, wolf lure that we ordered. And this is a homemade wolf lure that we ordered. And we're going to put Sasquatch pheromone in one location, wolf lure in another location. And then we're gonna have a third location that is gonna be a combination of the two. So this is gonna be a scent experiment to see if we can draw something in to the area that we put these scents in. Um, so we're gonna also set up game cams at each station along the way so that if something does come in to check out these scents that we will get them on video, uh, we'll get it on uh, photos, or it, and, and we'll see if we can possibly get some sort of evidence of something coming in and checking out these scents. Okay that one area that we're definitely going to have is the area where we have found all of these bones scattered around. And these bones are scattered around on these foundations of what appears to be, what used to be a home or a business or some kind of building. But we're finding just bones. It is like a boneyard out here and it's all different types of animals. So we're gonna do one of the stations here we're gonna do one of the stations down at that tent that we found that was ripped up and all of that, that I am assuming he was a hunter, but it can't be any more than about six weeks old. Uh, but 
we're gonna take and put a station down there and then we're gonna pick another location to put the third station but we're gonna go ahead and set up this station here at the foundations and then what we're gonna refer to as the boneyard does that sound good, good. all right so we're gonna go ahead and set up the station and uh um get this experiment rolling so what do you think is the wolf here This is perfect. I'm gonna put the scent right through here. All right. You ready for this? What does it smell like? Not that bad. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it smells like hell. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so this wind will carry it. We're going to put more than what they recommend. Okay. And then you want to pull a little bit of it as well. Now, see how the everything's blowing right here? Mm -hmm. So the wind's hitting it. So we're going to pull a little bit right here. Put it in that leaf there, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right. Okay. Now, it said 20 drops. We've got way more than 20 drops. What are you hearing? Just heard the leaves crunch, and I was like, already? All right. All right. So, this one. All right. Now, go check the game cam. Make sure that I am like right smack in the middle of it. Your head is cut off, but you are you are a little to the right. Okay. Then do me a favor, come over here. So if you go there, you'd be in the middle. Yeah. I already smell this. This uh this wool floor. Yeah, I can really smell it. I wouldn't say it's musky, it's it's definitely like dirty, sweaty dog smell. So, all right, are, are we moving now? Moving. All right. All right, game cam one is set. So we are going to get out of this area and we're gonna move on to our next area. It's gonna be our station two. That's gonna be down where the ripped up tent is. So uh, we're gonna head down that way now. You think this is probably a dangerous thing we're doing? Uh, yeah, for a couple of reasons, but it, uh, nobody else has done anything like this though here. Yeah. And everybody keeps talking about how the smell brings them in. We're but right. nobody has tested it to see if they can have similar effects. People have brought dog food in here before and tried to lure things in. I mean, that's just, but this, with this wind picking up. In this direction. This smells going towards where it supposedly came from. Yeah, I'm a distance from it right now and I still smell it. Like it is catching on that wind, so. Uh, this, uh, we're gonna see how this works out. 
that wind is picking up because it's getting it's getting later temperatures changing um, so the wind is definitely picking up from the lake and everything so i think what we're going to end up doing is leaving these stations up for a few days we'll set the uh sasquatch pheromone site down here at the attack site mm -hmm. well, what we're calling the attack site yeah um now even two things okay first off the claims that were made about the dna evidence that was collected from whatever attacked those people back in 82 they, they said, said it was human ape and canine, canine. right so we're yeah. leaving ape and human scent and then we have a wolf scent so a canine scent exactly so we're trying pretty yeah. much all three of them the sasquatch yeah. pheromone yeah the sasquatch pheromone was formulated to be um sort of a blend between ape and human and it is um it's a pretty pungent thing from what i hear we've not really experimented with it yet uh so we're gonna be opening that for the first time when we go to set it so we're gonna see how that goes uh but it is supposed to be very pungent but yes the dna study says that this was a hybrid set of dna results right yeah yeah so supposedly supposedly I mean, allegedly no record of these dna stunts yeah. dna tests have ever surfaced no one has ever come forward and given a first person account of it uh, we first yeah we're coming back up on the um attack site the, ca the campsite so joe's gonna go ahead a little bit we're both uh a little wary of course going into this Those are largest? Yeah. There's three of each. Are these the largest? These are, I think these are the largest too. I got three of each. Again, are these largest or are these smalls? Those are smalls, I believe. Alright. Do you need these? This is a what, is, what are you what is going on here? That's a Keystone cops are getting rubber gloves out to put Sasquatch <laughs> lore out. It Do you want me to put up the scape cam? How's it looking? Looks good. Okay. But life's hard for a short person, isn't it? Tiny little arms, tiny little legs. Now what Jessie's doing is, is that she's tying off her strap. Because a lot of times if you leave a few feet of strap out and the wind picks up, yeah, there's a few branches through here that might go, but you might just get a bunch of pictures of your strap flapping past the lens, so. So this is going to be terrible. I know it. I know it, I know it. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna place it. I'm gonna take one of these little chips. They've got a little hole on top of it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna just thread it onto this little limb right here. Uh, these are pretty funky smelling. So I hear so we're about to open this bad boy up. Um, we're gonna thread it onto that. And then we are going to turn this glove inside out into this glove, put it in another bag, and then we're gonna get out of here. Are you ready? Let's go. 
Can you smell it already? Mm. Oh my God. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, good God. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right, so God. Joe is the... Oh. I'm the monkey gal, he's the wolf man, so he's gonna... Oh. Oh, place God. that. So we're doing the wolf lore at the bottom of where this chip is. Gotcha. This was shipped to us, sealed with black electric tape with a homemade label, wrapped in paper towels. Oh God, I'm done with that chip. At a great value. Oh Jesus, way too much. I don't think this is a science at this point. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. Yeah. No. Got this mark just as tent. All right. Got you. Okay. And just like in the story, the wind is blowing from up here, down here to the water. So according to the story, the beast was at the water and then caught scent of the family with the musk or the perfume or whatever it was, and it drew it in. So right now, the scent traps that we have put together are blowing straight down here to the water. So we're just trying to recreate a little bit of a scent experiment here. And to my knowledge, nobody has done this kind of experiment no. in the LBL. We're going into the massacre site right now. Yeah, Jesse has drugged me out here. We've got yeah, massive thunderstorms. Hang out here in the cemetery. We've got a tornado about to come through. Okay, so um, as of right now, let me turn this off. As of right now, we've got um, we've got a tornado coming in. So we are at the massacre site. We're gonna go in for as long as we can go in. And um, that's it. All right. Holy shit, it's dark as hell out of here. Yeah. Oh, good God. It's night. It's night with mass. I can't see anything out here. Uh, this is un very uncomfortable. Well, oh, yeah. This is. Oh, yeah. Holy hell. Oh, dude, we're going to have to get. You need to get a flashlight immediately. Yeah, hold on. Joe? What? What? I just heard a screaming and a squealing. And there's nobody on the freaking peninsula because we have a freaking tornado headed this way. Do you hear that? Where is that? We're so freaking stupid. We are so stupid. Jesus. Oh, that's a cemetery. All right. Make sure we don't have any eye shine. 
uh, while we're trying to get everything put together and prepped up. You ready? Yeah, we're just going down here quick. We laid this lure out earlier today. And... All right, so I said it a minute ago, uh, we are we are headed into the massacre site right now. We've got a tornado headed our way. Um, so we are gonna try to... Lightning. <sighs> Lightning. We're gonna try to get in here uh, before the tornado uh, gets close to us. Uh, but I got people back home who are trying to get in touch with me who are like, there's a tornado headed your way right now. So uh, we're, we're heading in. Um, there is something screaming in the woods behind us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're heading in. How you feeling? Uh, weirded out. That yeah. screaming is like intense and it was right as soon as we got out of the car. It's almost like a rabbit being killed. Yeah. Well, the red, uh, red lamp, I'm gonna go we're not getting out of here quick if we need to get out. Yeah. Thunder is just going. This is much more intense than last time. What do you think? Yeah, I'm completely on edge. Did you hear that? Yes. What is the? What are all these screams though? I don't know. I have no idea. Hell. All right, if we try to camp out here tonight, the tent's gonna be gone. <laughs> well, we're gonna be gone. Yeah. crazy alive. Wouldn't everything be hunkered down right now with the storm coming in? We're trying to get out. All right, listen, I know you want to get down here and film for a couple of seconds, but with the storm coming in, we're going to have to make a decision down here, okay? I know, I know. Just, we're almost there. All right, all right. It's just too much. It sounds like there's stuff on literally every all three sides of us right now. Yes, there is. The only quiet spot is ahead of us. <laughs> See, there are already trees down here that are basically holding on by a thread yeah. from the tornado before. Yeah. <sighs> you can hear the wind in the distance really just picking up and howling. The storm is headed in and headed in strong. All right, we're down at the bunkers right now. I know. I don't know what the noise those noises are. All right, let's just get this over with. Come on. Here it comes. All right, listen. You made it down here, okay? That? Yes, Jessica, we need to... What does that look like to you? Is that claw marks? Yes. Are you getting that? I have the best I can. Are you getting water on the lens here? It's not focusing. I know. There it goes. Got it. That's about the size of my foot with claws. Oh, I just heard a freaking howl. Stop. What? You got more prints down through here. Of those big ones. 
okay. Yeah. I saw heard something in the weaves over there. I know, I know. I got your back, I'm right behind you. I'd bust out the thermal, but no. we can't stop to unpack stuff right now. If it starts to downpour, we're not going to have that thermal. Jess, the lightning's getting close. Mm. All right, we need to. What do you want to do? I don't know. There's howls or screams. There's literally everything going on right now. Oh yeah, I know. All right, let's walk over here. At least. What's up? I'm trying to take a picture of this. All right, we're gonna have to go with that. <gasps> what is it? What, what is the it? F is that? What is what? Do you see that orange? Where? Holy sh What is that? We've got eyes in the woods. It's gone. We've got eyes in the woods. All right, listen to me right now. This is too much, okay? It's orange. I know, we need to, the storm is coming in. We can't get any of our equipment out, okay? We can't do this right now. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Listen, we can't pull any of our equipment out at all. Yeah, well, we can't even grab guns right now, so. Here. Keep an eye that way. Yeah. Okay, we're done. We'll be back after the storm pick passes, all right? Do you hear that? Here it comes. We gotta go, come on, now. You proved your point, let's go. We need to, all right, listen. What? We need to come back after the storm passes. All right. All right. Hey. What? It sounds like something. I know. Crying. It's exactly what it sounds like. Does that sound like somebody crying in the woods over here? Yes. It's not a fox. All right, go. Damn it. You okay? I'm fine. This is just. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. The weather's gonna. I caught something. I caught something going through the woods. I caught. I caught eye shine. It was yellow. It oh, went. Filming? It went straight through there. It went straight through there. It went straight through there. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. We gotta get going. Yeah. The right, storm I'm winds coming in. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. All right. We got a ways. All right. Come on, our backs. Uh, what? I can't tell if I'm seeing lightning flashes or what I'm seeing. No. That wind is picking up. Alright. I don't know what I'm scared of right now. Listen. What? We need to get out of the entire LBL right now. Yeah, I know. We need to get away from yeah. any tall trees. Yeah, we gotta get off the peninsula. And let's head. Let's get on the interstate, stay off the side roads, head, we might have to get a hotel to hunker down in. All right. All right. 
Yeah, we gotta get this swimming pool. After what I saw the last night I did. You watch ahead of us, I'm watching behind us. Watching. I don't know what this footage is gonna look like. Just keep filming. What do you got? Okay. Did you just see something on our right? Yeah. No. Was it going from left to right? Yep. <sighs> We gotta go, this wind is really good. Yeah, we out. stayed here. Even this brief visit was too much. Yeah. This, this wind is being loud. We gotta be able to get off the peninsula. All right. Oh God. What's wrong? You hear that scream? Yes, go. It's right over us. All right, we're gonna catch weather getting out of here. There's no two ways around it. That's a child's grave from 1864. That's got connected tissue on the end of it. 